are watching Beauty by Grey. My name is Amanda and today I got something special for y'all. As you can see in the title, I am doing a First Impressions Fenty Beauty new powder foundation and her new cream lip glosses. I have on fruit snacks right now okay i'm so excited to be doing this first impressions review i love fenty beauty if you don't know you should know and if you don't know now you know okay all right so um yeah she came out with this december 26 and i think the glosses were about a week ago um had to pick them up i picked up my third color of the lip glosses as well um but yeah figured I would just review them all in one just to give you my opinion and to let you know whether I'm feeling it or not which if you can tell I am feeling it <laughs> okay um but yes yeah, so without further ado let's get into this video okay So I'm just going to jump right on into the Soft Matte Pro Filter Powder Foundation from Fenty Beauty, okay? So like I said, this is the, uh, the Soft Matte Powder Foundation and I'm in the color 330, okay? And she looks like that. It has a nice little compact mirror. And then you flip her up. She has another mirror. And then the little puff powder thing. So I thought that was pretty smart of her packaging wise, I would say. But yes, without further ado, let's get into this powder. So again, I'm in the color 330. I did go into Sephora and have them swatch it for me just so that I know because in the liquid foundation, I am 330 like fall winter time. And then during the summer, which I wasn't really out this summer, um, I'm usually 350. So I stuck with 330 obviously because that is my go-to color right now. So I'm actually going to use, I always hate getting the little puffs dirty. So I'm going to use my clean uh, beauty blender here. Okay, let's do it. I'm just going to pat it right into the compact right here. This is what it looks like on the sponge. And yeah. Okay, wow. So the first thing I notice is that it's super like blurring or smoothing. I'm like so excited. I just want to get it on there to see. So, so far so good. I'm liking the color. Um, and down here, I don't know if you can notice the difference between down here and up here on my cheek. Super smoothing. And it still gives you a natural look, which I like. Um, you can look all done up, but your natural beauty should still be there, okay? And I'm only going to do half of my face so that you guys could really see the difference between both sides, okay? without foundation and with foundation. Now that is magical, okay? Bring it down towards my neck a little. 
I really like the coverage. It is buildable, um, so I can put a second layer on and I will do that. But yeah, I really like it. I hope you guys can really tell the difference. I love it. All right, let's put another layer on top and then go from there. second layer. I'm not mad at it at all. Very blurring, very smoothing to the skin. Really makes your skin look flawless. All right. So I did both sides of my face. Um, I like it. There's no dislikes whatsoever. It is a bit on the it is a bit on the natural side, but it's buildable, so I do like that. Um I don't have a problem. I hope y'all like it. Let's get into this concealer cuz um usually I would do any creams or liquids before you do a powder cuz then you would go and set it. I was so excited to do the powder foundation that I uh, skipped that part. <laughs> so, but it's actually good. It's a good test to see that if a uh, liquid or a cream would disturb the powder, which I have high hopes that it won't disturb it, but you never know, okay? Let's try it out, all right? So I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place in the color J16 concealer and put that under my eye. I'm just gonna put a little bit, like do my usual, but just a touch less, just to see what happens when we mix a, you know, creamy liquidy item over a powder. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do, all right? And we gonna go ahead and blend this out and pray for the best. <laughs> I think it'll, I think it'll be fine. Let's see, let's see. I mean, so far, so good. Ain't nothing happened. The powder didn't move. It didn't break up, you know, separate or anything. Ooh. Okay, so we know that if you made the mistake and did the powder first before your concealer or any, like, wet item, um, you're going to be safe. You're going to be fine. And I'm not being like, you know, extra gentle or anything, I'm, as you can see. <clears throat> I'm literally like going in as I would any other time. Let me set this and we'll move on to the other eye. I'm using my RCMA No Color Setting Powder. Um, yeah. Yeah, that to me looks good. Uh, it didn't disturb or do anything. It didn't break or separate, um, you know, when I applied it or, you know, blended it out. It did nothing. So that's a good thing. A good thing. I'm glad I forgot <laughs> and um, did that so that I can actually show y'all on camera what happens. But ain't nothing happened. Okay, so I finished my concealer. I set it again. 
I love this. I love that you can apply your concealer a little over the powder. I didn't take my powder foundation up underneath the eye because I did know that I have to put on concealer, but I didn't think that the, you know, liquidy or cream product mixed with a powder, you know, things can happen. But nothing happened, y'all. Okay, so I really like it. It's bomb.com and I think it's super fast because you don't have to set your whole face. Like just go in with the powder foundation, done. Then you go with your concealer. If you did your concealer beforehand, it, it just cuts down a lot of time. And that I love, especially when I got to get ready in the mornings for work, cut it down. I need as much time as I can get, okay? All right, so let's go into me warming up this face, applying my cream blush and highlight, all right? Let's go. All right, love, so to finish off this look, okay, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in the color Caramel Cutie, okay? Warm up this face here. Just like that. All right. Do the other side. I'm going to go in with the Cheeks Out Cream Blush in the color rose latte she's a little messy because you know i love using her but here's the color now this is a cream and i do want to see how it applies over the powder okay because these are important things because if you forget and you go to do these things and say if it didn't work you know that's why i'm here to tell you and look out for y'all to tell you how it works or if it don't work or do work okay all right, so I'm just going in with my finger, take a little bit just to see. So far, so good. Doesn't disrupt the powder whatsoever. Blush is on, powder is undisturbed. Okay, going in with the Fenty Beauty highlighters, and this one is in Whatabrat, so it's like a pinky highlight, and the OG Trophy Wife. Okay. Ooh, pink is pretty. All right, and let's mix a little bit of that Trophy Wife, okay? Oh yeah, that's good. It just comes right all together. Let's go on to these lips, okay? So I'm so excited. She came out with no shimmer cream lip glosses, okay? So I have a couple of her uh, lip glosses and those are the ones with the shimmers in it. Um, so you know I had to try the ones without because I like me some shimmer and I like me ones without it, okay? All right, so I picked up not one, not two, but three cream lip glosses, okay? I had to, I want all of them, but I was like, you know what, let me try and pick up the shades that I'm going to wear, you know, often, okay? So I got the color... This is the Fenty Glow, so I heard this was the original color of the, you know, the other one, but that's with the shimmer in it, okay? But this one is without the shimmer, okay? Then I had to pick up Honey Waffles, okay? This is the perfect, like, I feel like it's the perfect topper for, like, nude lips, okay? Or if you just want to 
go with the gloss. This looks fabulous, okay, on its own. And I can only imagine with lip liner and lipstick and this on top, okay? And then I love the, I love the name of this one. This one's Fruit Snacks. Oh my God. This is so cute. This is a cute name. It's a very berry wine color. I love it. And I'm so interested to see how this one looks because I feel like it looks different on all skin tones. Like it does not, to me, it does not look the same, you know, as it looks just in the bottle. Like it's going to look different on your skin tone. Okay. Enough rambling. I'm going to try each one without lip liner and without lipstick just to see what's going on, okay, and how the color payoff is, all right? Okay, overall thoughts. They are magnificent. They are smooth. They're not sticky. And they don't feel too heavy, like in the thickness. You know, she ain't too thick, but thick enough for long lasting purposes. Okay. Um, I love them. I'm going to be wearing them. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I would suggest you do so because you're going to see them on there a lot more, okay? As for the powder foundation, the powder foundation is beautiful, beautiful. Um, super smooth, super easy. You don't have to worry about setting it because it sets itself. Um, it is super like smoothing and blurring. Um, it's just beautiful. I really, you know, this is, this retails for $36 and this is worth it to me. Um, so especially if you're like on the go and you need to go somewhere, but you need to look decent, this is it. And in general, if you want to do a full on beat, do so with this. Okay. Again, I got the color 330. All right. This is what 330 looks on me. This is what 330 looks like on me. <laughs> okay. I love it. Go get it. All right. So thank you so much for watching today. I will have everything in the description box uh, below so that you can refer to everything. And yeah, I love y'all. Thanks for watching. You are watching Beauty by Grey, a.k.a. Amanda. And I'll see and talk to y'all soon. Bye.